Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to continue on in Photoshop by designing the second step mockup along with a login page. And then I know a lot of this is uh, kind of boring right now. We're only focusing on Photoshop, but tomorrow will be the last day where we actually designed the interface where a person's logged in and they can see all the different potential matches. Uh, and then after that, we'll focus on some HTML and CSS. All right, so if you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, so today we're going to go ahead and just make a few adjustments uh, for the second step uh, after a per person enters their needs and their wants, okay? So let's go ahead and save this, and I'm going to name this one uh, Homepage Step 2, or Home Step 2. All right, so what we want to do is just change this here to great. Just one more step. And we'll bold this right here. All right. And then we have to adjust uh, these down here. So first, we're going to change this to email address. And we have to change uh, the width here because we're going to have three instead of two. So what we'll do is make this initial one just three grid columns. Um, where is that at? I think it's right here. Take the direct selection tool and just select those right portions and hit shift and left click and drag over. And then we will take our move tool. Oops. If you don't want to, yeah, it's a good idea just to make so you cannot select that when you have that grid view. And so with auto select layer and move tool, select those two, hold shift, and just move these over, holding shift. And we want to make this one your city. Take the move tool, or direct selection tool rather, three columns long. And then we'll take these as well, your, your city text and this, and hit Control Shift D, or just right click and duplicate layer, move it over holding Shift. And this will be, oops, I hate when I do that. Select on the text and then edit it that way, your state. All right, so. You know, I'm not sure if I want, like, the idea of putting your... I mean, obviously, it's going to be that. So, just to make it more s simple. City, state. All right, there we go. And then, uh, just to real quickly, just for mock-up purposes, just to, you know, state that this is going to be a, a drop-down menu, I'm going to put in, with the move tool, make sure shape is selected, uh, a quick down icon. I'm holding shift to do this as well. I hate this. My uh, keyboard's been jacking up lately. Okay, gotta get a new one. All right, so du double click that portion of the layer to bring up the color picker and we'll just make it just a mid gray color and move it over. All right, so control one, um, let me zoom out. And I'm gonna change this text right here to let's do this, oops. And down here, we want to change this text as well. So an email is required in order to save your information. It will never be shared. All right, and then control S to save that. And all right, so that's basically going to be the step that shows up after a person enters that information. So we will use uh, PHP sessions to save the previous uh, two inputs that they did on the initial page. And now would be a good time to also create the mock-up for a login page, all right? So it's simply because we, were, we already have the uh, text boxes and such out. So I'm going to make sure you save this, and then we're gonna save this as login. All right, so I haven't actually designed this page before doing this, so I'm gonna do this kind of, you know, hopefully it goes well. I mean, a login page is pretty simple. So I'm just going to left align this text and change everything to login here. And 
what we'll do is let's see here we have one too many inputs so i'm going to take the move tool with auto select layer take our state text hold shift select the background uh that square portion and also this triangle and delete those and let's get out our grid so we can see everything and when it comes to logins you can approach it from two different ways we could do a horizontal as we have been doing it or we can stack them on top uh, of each other I think that's the route I'm gonna take so what we'll do is take a uh, city and the container right here we'll make them I'm thinking the length of maybe five or six we'll see how it looks so I'm gonna take the direct selection tool select this one right here hold shift and move it over to right around yeah we'll try five at first and then do the same thing with this one right here hold shift move that over and let's edit the text right here this is going to be just some um, asterisks to let them know that is the password and uh, so when it comes to the password as well you'll notice we didn't really put a field for them to specify a password so we're going to use php to automatically generate a random password for them and so that's the idea behind that uh and that way it's just one more field that they don't have to enter in the hopes that it will increase you know people using the service as much as possible all right so over here let me move this stuff down i'm going to get rid of our magnifying glass portion and take the those two layers and we're going to need a forgot password area right here Control shift d i'm just going to take that text and stick it over here and this will be for forgot information and that will be a link and i don't really care that i had that set up that way this is just for a quick preview um over here i'm going to put this probably right here and i'll edit this real quick uh oh no type it right there and we can just move these existing things over uh right around here and then left align it and this will be um we'll put some text here you could put the forgot information password right over here uh you can put any bits of, of text that you want um like joining is free let me go ahead and actually let me adjust this real quick okay actually yeah no i'm not gonna put that i'm gonna put um don't have an account question mark register here and this will be a link so we'll underline it and so right here all right let's hide the grid real quick yeah you know what i'm gonna move this over here I'm going to put this at the top and make that linked as well. And then I'll come back down here. Let's see. I'll put in if you're having any difficulties logging in please and i'll put contact us we'll make the contact us portion a link right there and all right and let's change this text down here log in now move these up a little bit all right very simple i uh, and i think that will be sufficient for now all right so tomorrow we're going to go ahead and i believe the next step will be to actually design the mock-up for the page that actually shows the full interface 
It'll show listings and, and all that good stuff. All right. So I will see you then.